Hello everyone, welcome to iSharePoint All. In this video, I'm going to be talk <clears throat> talking to you about Viewtify. I've created quite a few videos on how to use Vue. It's a JavaScript framework with um, SharePoint. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about Viewtify. So let's go to the Viewtify site. Viewtify site, the Viewtify basically is a material design component framework. So on the site, you see many components that they have that you can use with SharePoint. So let's look at some of the components they have. As you can see, they have many components. And let's click on some of these. So they have these avatar components. You have bottom navigation components. You have um, breadcrumbs component, calendar component. You have the cards component. And a lot of these components you can use with SharePoint and just from your SharePoint list feed it, feed data to the components. So let's get started by showing you my favorite component, which is not data tables, even though that's pretty cool. My favorite component is expansion panels. So this is my favorite component. And it has a few panels on top of each other. And if you click it, it expands it and shows you the data in it so let's open up the code to this and see what it looks like so i'm going to click on this here code pen and in the code pen there is a lot it just shows you code and it's not a lot of code as you can see this is what generates what's down here and then you're always going to have your view instance so let's kind of walk through this you have your div tab, which this view is referring to. This instance is pointing to this. And then you have these v dash tags. And these are all Viewtify tags. And they're sort of like HTML tags in a way. And they have their own different functionality. So within this view expansion panel, you have this view exp v expansion panel content. And as you can see, it's looping through five times, showing this item five times. And then the data five times. So that's why you're able to click on it, expand, and show you the data. Let me show you. If I even change this to three, two, you see that it does, you only have two panels. It's pretty cool. Um, so when you take, when we take this to SharePoint, what we want to do is we want to be able to feed it our data and this will become dynamic so we're going to be however many numbers we have is just going to loop through that many times so let's go to sharepoint so i can show you so here's my list this is i call this this is my expansion list list i have announcement one on my title all the way down so i have seven announcements with uh Ero ipsum data dummy data right ignore the keep column now let me bring that up in the code let me use Visual Studio. I like using Visual Studio. So let's go to Visual Studio. Let me expand this. So, in my Visual Studio, the first thing you want to do is you want to copy and paste it. Copy and paste the expansion panel code. Oop, wrong one. Sorry. Let me come up here. So you want to copy and paste your expansion panel code so I just copied this whole thing here everything within the div I copied it and I pasted it in here and then I changed it up a little bit um, let's and so, and the first thing you want to do you, you want to make sure you have your libraries don't forget that so the the best thing to do is to go back to the code pen if you click on settings and just click on CSS and JavaScript, scroll down, and it'll tell you what you need. So you have this Google API, Vitify Min CSS, and you want to make sure all that is included in here. So here's that Google API. Here's the links, the reference to it. And then if you go back and you click on the JavaScript portion, you want these, make sure you have these three as well. And I have these three included. So let me go back. So I have these included as well. I have this Axios included because I'm using that in the JavaScript portion. I'll show you that. But 
these I got I, I, I got these from code pen in the settings for JavaScript this is makes it works the Axios is used instead of me using jQuery um, Ajax to ping my list I'm using you know the HTTP request I'm using Axios instead So I'm using Axios instead. Let me delete this. Okay. So what we're looking at here. So I have this expansion panel. And I, I've gone through these things in my previous videos. But in my data section, I have this expansion panel. And it's, it's an array. And as soon as the instance is all created, everything is good to go. It calls this get list data. And in this get list data, I am basically, let me delete this extra data out of there, lines. I am basically hitting ping in my expansion list, right? Um, and Axios is an HTTP request. Um, and you can use different verbs like get, post, and all that. So I'm, I'm getting this endpoint URL. And if it's a success, then it returns its response. So it's going to be response that data dot value. And I'm dumping everything into my expansion array that I set up here. And that's it. So if I go look at my, save that. If I go look at my HTML, here's my expansion array. I'm looping through. And as I'm looping through, I'm grabbing a title, item.title, and I'm also grabbing the details. So I'm just basically replacing, you know, I don't have, I didn't do too much change. All I'm doing is replacing the item and replacing this data with the information that's coming from my list. So as you can see, item that title and then item that details. And let's go see what that does. So we come back here. And let me refresh the page. So here's my announcements. If I do that, as you can see, it, it expands. Now let's go through some other things. In Vuetify, they have these things called props. And you have props for your V expansion panel and V expansion panel content, which is here's my V expansion panel tag. And here's my V expansion panel content. And you can add additional functionality to these tags if you wanted to. Um, different attributes, if you will. So let's come up here and let's add some of these tags. So dark, let's talk, start with dark. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to space dark. Let me save. And let's see what that does. So refresh. Ooh, look at that. Changes it to dark. Okay. Let's go see some of the other cool things too as well. So if I come here, let's try um, pop out. This is really cool. So let's look at what pop out does. And you can have a combination of some of these things. So come in here, pop out. Let me save that. Come back here, come back to my code, I mean to the page, refresh, and boom. So if I click it, wow, look how that pops out. Isn't that pretty cool? Pops out. Let's go through another one. Let's go through and try. Uh, let me go to my, let's try. Let's try a couple more. Let's try inset. See what that does. So let me do inset save if I come up here refresh oh so instead of it popping out it looks like it went in right so that's pretty cool let's try I'm having I'm kind of having fun with this let's try um focusable let me just say focusable save let 
refresh. So I don't know if you notice the difference, it's really small, but it just makes the heading of our panels more focused. So it, have, it has a, like a lighter dark color there. Let me remove the dark, see if we can notice anything. So dark, save. refresh okay remove the dark see how the the headings are white so if I do this see how it changes it to like a dark like a light gray so that's what the um, focusable does so you can do a lot of different things with these panel you know um, you can you can also it also has different things for the span of uh, content I haven't played with this let's see what lazy does conditioning renders so let's see. I don't know what it does, but let's see. Um, let's come in here. Say lazy. Let's see what that does. Okay. I don't know what it did, but um, yeah. But if you if you do this, just kind of play around with the different props. Um, different I like to call it attributes but they call it props so just kind of you know go in and play around and do your own thing let's see expansion all these different props if you scroll down in the video 5 page for that expansion panel section it also has a few other things as well so you can kind of play around it has this and all you do is just open it up in code pen and you know play around with it that's kind of how I figured it out see so you, you can even put your own images in here so I hope I've you've learned something today I hope I help you with something today and um, thanks for for watching this and see you next time bye